Hi, I'm Dr. Kent, an anesthesiologist with Medical Anesthesia Group. We provide anesthesia services for Methodist Healthcare. If you've had surgery before, you may recall several limitations on the eating and drinking before your procedure. I'd like to tell you about an exciting new program to help you safely prepare for surgery and recover more quickly. It's called Enhanced Recovery After Surgery, also known as ERAS. It'll help you heal more quickly, eat and move sooner, and control your pain. Our goal is to help you recover and return to your normal life faster, but we need your help to do so. Following all the steps of the enhanced recovery is very important. Failing to follow these steps could result in the cancellation and rescheduling of your surgery. If at any time you have questions about this process, please call the pre-admissions team at your hospital. Let's go through the enhanced recovery steps. Step one, reduce or eliminate tobacco use and alcohol. It's important to reduce the toxins in your bloodstream in order to improve the flow of oxygen to your tissues. Eliminating tobacco and alcohol will likely mean fewer complications, such as infections and heart and lung problems. This will lead to a faster recovery. For resources and support to help you quit, you can ask your pre-admissions nurse. Step two, start walking. After your surgery, we'll have you up and walking either that day or the next day. Walking 30 minutes a day before your procedure will strengthen your legs and build stamina. Step three, exercise your lungs. Practice using a special breathing device called an incentive spirometer. This will help prevent pneumonia. We'll give you one of these and show you how to use it. Step four, cleanse your skin. The night before surgery and before you come to the hospital, wash your skin using a chlorhexidine antiseptic skin cleanser. This will help prevent infection of the surgical site. Step five, drink a protein supplement. Drinking a protein supplement leading up to surgery can help boost your immune system and aid in your recovery. The supplement we recommend is called Impact Advanced Recovery by Nestle. This is available at certain Walgreens locations in the pharmacy. Step six, hydrate prior to surgery. Drink one to two liters of the listed acceptable clear liquids between the hours of 6 p.m. the night before surgery and 6 a.m. the morning of surgery. Drink the carbohydrate beverage that was provided to you on your way to the hospital. Check with your doctor on what medications you should take the morning of surgery, but bring all your medications with you to the hospital. This includes your blood pressure medicine and your diabetic medication. Bring chewing gum with you to the hospital. We'll ask you to chew gum three to four times each day. This helps wake your stomach up after your procedure. We'll help you control your pain. You'll be given a mixture of medications such as injections and medicines, both IV and by mouth. We do this to reduce the need for narcotics, which can make you feel sleepy, sick, or not interested in moving. Finally, when you leave the hospital, it's important to continue the enhanced recovery steps when you get home. You'll receive complete discharge instructions so you'll know what you can do to recover more quickly and whom to call if you have any questions. These are the basic steps of the enhanced recovery process. If you have questions or concerns at any time, please be sure to talk to your doctor or the pre-admission team. We look forward to caring for you and thanks for watching.